So uh, as what we mentioned, Penang, let's look at what are the economic activity contribution to Penang's economy. Uh, if you look at here, the Department of Statistics of Malaysia actually says that there's two main economic activity that contributes to uh, Penang's income. One is the manufacturing and the other one are the services. So now we're going to... Um, Let's look more into the first portion, which is the manufacturing. Uh, again, Pina has always been known as the Silicon Valley of the East, and this was because of the first chief minister's vision, whereby they have brought in what was known as the Seven Samurai, one of it being Intel. And they have been here since then, always been here. And what does Penang manufacture? Uh, we call it chips. We have always been manufacturing uh, semiconductor chips. Um, but now we are also manufacturing medical devices uh, related to uh, our, our manufacturing excellence. We started off by uh, doing really um, what we call low value manufacturing, uh, which is the uh, very high volume but low mix, meaning it's a high volume of the same parts. So if we look at this uh, at this graph, which shows the commodity chain and in terms of the value, manufacturing really is at the lowest value in commodity chain. However, for the past 40 years, uh, thanks to also the government policies and the promotion activities, we are actually um, getting all these manufacturers to move up the value chain from manufacturing moving up all the way to R&D. Not only that, uh, at the same time, by moving the E&E &E industry going into more R&D, we are also, the Pinesca is also uh, promoting new focus area. Uh, for example, we have the uh, life sciences, under the life sciences umbrella, which is uh, really under the purview of the Biotech Corp, which was um, set up in 2005. Um, the other industry that is really, really, um, how do you say it's recession proof is actually the medical device industry. Now, Penang really is a state where we are the most ready to go into this industry. Why? Because we, for the past uh, 30 to 40 years, we already have a base of manufacturing excellence. Not only that, the supporting industries are also ready to support this industry. We're not talking about, uh, we're talking about um, devices that are related to the electronics component. For example, um, pacemaker, we have Senju, okay, the doing pacemaker. And the other one, we're talking about orthopedics parts. So these are really precision um, manufacturing and engineering that we are already well known in the world for. So it's, it really uh, makes sense for Pinay to go into this area. Um, not only that, um, recently as we were talking to some of my friends, um, we were actually told that they are um, freezing of headcounts in the electronics industry. Um, there are also some layoffs. But at the same time, there are companies that is expanding and seeing very high revenues. So, so thanks to the, to the state government to actually promoting this new focus area, Bina is actually doing quite well, not too bad. Lah. No. Um, mm, the other thing is also uh, the Penang State is also promoting outsourcing. So you have the business process outsourcing, the shared service outsourcing, and the IT outsourcing. Uh, by promoting of these services, what we've seen in Penang is really uh, for those familiar with Penang in the bio and bio area, uh, we've seen company like City Corp actually move in here with about 500 accounts of people coming into the bio and bio area. Uh, not only that, we have uh, insurance company at Prudential also have moved in. And recently, not only that, we have seen a lot of demand for rental for property in the area. And we realized that A Asia has actually moved its operation here as well. Operations from, yeah, from, it's not in the main hub here. Uh, the operations from Thailand has moved here, and the Philippines have moved here, from Indonesia has also moved here. And we've seen actually demands for rental property in that area. Yeah. Mm. 
there'll be all this uh, I see that a lot of stuff is happening in yeah it is it is so we're actually very excited <laughs> so with all these activities <laughs> that's going right you also see in the news at my website you'll find online financial seminars which is by call webinars I do it regularly and also a lot of uh, online investment and financial courses which is conducted solely online so I'll be waiting for you at my website at kclau.com I wish you have a great day hope to see you soon bye bye